Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. I am Gary Vernier and this is World News Report. Four large sharks have been killed in Australia after a woman and a girl were attacked at a popular Great Barrier Reef tourist spot. Both victims, one of them just 12 years old, were still in the hospital on Sunday, September 23rd, after being mauled in separate incidents just a day apart last week at the Whitsunday Islands. Drum lines, which use baited hooks to catch the predators, ensnared four tiger sharks, one 3.3 meters long, a fisheries Queensland spokesman said, while sharks of this size are potentially very dangerous to humans, it is unclear if they were responsible for injuries caused to two swimmers this week, he said. The shark carcasses will be towed well out to sea for disposal. The spokesman added that the drum lines would remain in place over the next week to reduce the risk to swimmers. The spokesman added that it was clear there were a significant number of active sharks in local waters and people are urged not to swim. Shark attacks are very rare in the Whitsundays, a collection of spectacular tropical islands in the heart of the Barrier Reef. With the last encounter reported to be eight years ago, according to national broadcaster ABC. This week's incidents have revived debate about how best to reduce the risk of encounters between sharks and the growing number of people using the ocean for leisure. Many conservationists and marine scientists object to killing sharks and insist that drum lines are a blunt instrument because they often catch other creatures. New South Wales, the country's most populous state, has trailed non-lethal measures such as aerial drones to track sharks' movements and smart drum lines that alert authorities to their presence. This has been a World News Report. Good day. Alcaldía de Medellín, cuenta con vos.